Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys a topic I missed in my video yesterday. And that's basically bringing up the concept of gold in Path of Exile 2. Now, in current Path of Exile, we don't have a system called gold, right? We have all of our different forms of currency. So, you know, to, to label a few, um, transmutation orbs, augmentation, alteration, chance orb, chaos orb, divine orb, you get the point. Um, so moving forward, PoE2 does still have a lot of these, uh, the currency that we have now. Of course, some of it is reworked, some of it is completely removed, but you know, completely different game. That being said, uh, I think, I don't know when it was, three months, six months ago or something, we actually played around with a event called Ruthless with Gold. And myself personally, I did not really like it. I thought it would have been cool, but I don't think that it was balanced very well around utilizing that gold properly for other things, or it's just because it was ruthless, I'm not really sure. Anyway, Path of Exile 2 is incorporating gold. Um, I think part of the reason, and I could very well be wrong here, why they said they wanted to add it, was primarily because it feels bad when you like kill a monster and nothing drops out or drops out of it, since they will, I would assume, you know, nerf how much loot drops in Path of Exile 2 compared to PoE, since PoE, you kill like a ghosted boss in a high quantity map and your whole screen lags for a second when you press Alt to see all the items, right? Anyway, though, um, moving on a little forward with this, there, there is an interesting reason that they have added gold aside from just, you know, I want to see something drop. So gold is the main form of currency used during the campaign. This means that you know, buying a weapon from the vendor would cost gold. Buying boots would cost gold. Buying a flask would cost gold. Even buying wisdom scrolls and portal scrolls would cost gold. Furthermore, when you vendor your equipment, it sells for gold. So I can see this being a pro and a con in, in both ways, right? Uh, for people who don't play Path of Exile, right? I'm just going to skip a little bit in the footage here. For people who don't play Path of Exile, um, this makes it infinitely easier to manage your inventory and understand what the hell is going on. You know, in current Path of Exile, when you vendor something, you're getting a whole bunch of like alteration shards, wisdom scraps, you know, transmutation shards, etc. Right? Um, a little annoying, but we are used to our system. There's no reason to change it. Another one of the nice reasons that PoE2 is separated, right? So I can kind of see this in a nice way because it makes things cleaner going through the campaign and in general, right? Not getting the the, the random, uh, you know, just stacks all inside your inventory blocking two columns. Now, the other thing to look at is they said that they completely overhauled how, sorry, they completely overhauled the shops in general, meaning shops in general are going to have better stuff, right? The shops are going to have stuff that you want to buy during the campaign. They, they express this many times um, compared to the current PoE right now. And uh, that sort of makes sense because actually right now we just recently had a patch where vendors will even sell rare items. They also explained that the gold is not supposed to be the main form of currency for trading. It's not like uh, it's not like you're going to be level 87 or 90 and you know, you're trying to sell items in gold and buy items in gold. They will still have their standard ticket prices like, you know, in Path of Exile, we typically trade in Chaos Orbs as an example. And that's something they can easily modify on their end if they, you know, if gold ends up being the main form of trading, which I don't think it would be, right? Uh, another thing that gold is used for is actually gambling. I believe if you guys are familiar with Gwen from Expedition, they have just made that a normal vendor that you can just straight up buy from, which I actually, I'll be honest, I kind of like. Going through the regular Path of Exile campaign with, you know, probably 10 times the drops, there are still even times when I have, you know, really garbage gear and would pretty much take anything in that slot, right? Although, to be fair, even though there's 10 times the loot, it's a lot harder to upgrade your gear with the current socket and jeweler system, well, socket, chromatic, link, etc., right? So, you know, I'm really curious to hear your guys' points of view. I am definitely open-minded towards this. Um, a lot of people are, you know, sharing a similar opinion of mine where we don't want the identity of Path of Exile to be taken away and, uh, you know, kind of just condensed into gold when we have all of this beautiful currency. But I don't think that's the intention. I really think the intention is to kind of clean it up during the campaign run so you're not constantly picking up, you know, well, not necessarily picking up, but not dealing with a whole bunch of different gumball currency for trading, right? You're just utilizing gold. And then I assume that later, you know, things will change and or the purpose of this is that the currency we find during the campaign is actually used for some level of crafting uh, versus using it on our, you know, from the vendor, on the vendor to buy the gear out of the vendor. Yeah, yeah, you get the point. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of these discussions. Uh, I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. If you like the video, don't forget you can like, share, and subscribe. And you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys all tomorrow.